Hello everyone, welcome to my channel once again. Today I'm going to show you guys how to uh, design your uh, native outfit like this one. This is uh, side printing. I've seen so many people showing this design, but I think there is there are something they are not putting on on this design. So today I'm going to show you how to sew this outfit, this design on your native outfit. So please, I want you guys to watch this video very carefully. Watch, just watch it very carefully and tell me how you feel about the story. And tell me if you have if, if you have ever saw this kind of design before, and if this one is unique, if this one is, is more better. Please, after watching this video, and if you have any questions, you are free to ask in the comment section. And please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification button so that you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Because I have more of this tutorial lesson to you guys of sharing tutorial. Please subscribe and turn on the notification button, and don't forget to like this video and share to your friends. So today I'm going to show you guys how to sew this side printing. It's the side printing. You can see see the design with, with, with bracket so you guys have to see this design so let's start this video watch this video and tell me how you feel on the comment section okay now this is my, the uh, the fabric we, we're going to use you can see here is the back here is the fabric we're going to use my lens here what i have here in my lens is 24 and the width should be 17 and a half for the width now i'm going to fold it with my hem and gum I'm going to fold the front, not the back now. You can see the back with, with chalk. And I'm going to fold from the front. You can fold it from the front now. Now I'm going to use hot iron, but I, I would like you guys to control your iron. Don't use that much hot iron so that you, you will not burn your, your, your fabric. Now I'm going to use hemming gum to fold it. First of all, place it with your iron first. Then use your hemming gum like this one. This time is, is going to consume a lot of hemming gum, but you just to make your, your work to look neat. So I would advise you to use them in gum so that it will last and will not disturb you. you can see? Now I'm going to uh, press it again. So that the hemingum will gum the fabric. Like this. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Now if you open it, uh, this is uh, how it's going to look. After pressing it, make sure you press it very well. Make sure you place it very well. Make sure that the gum is uh, have come the fabric. Now this is how it's going to look like. If you open it, you can see. And now I'm going to fold it this way because uh, what I need is like six to seven fold. Now from that uh, folding, like the edge of the folding, like this. I can see how I put that, uh, how I place the folding, how I shift it. Then from that edge, I'm going to take a, like half inch measurement, like this. Half inch, it's okay. Now from that half inch, I'm going to fold it from that half inch again. From that half inch, I'm going to fold it again like this. Then I'm going to use my hot iron to, uh, to press it so it will last and make sure that your hand is straight. Make sure that, that your hand is straight. So now this is how I'm going to be doing it. So I have like six to seven folding. The same procedure, there's no difference. So after watching this video, I want to know how you guys feel in the comment section. Tell me if you have saw this kind of design before and how this uh, pattern is whether this pattern is more easier same thing okay now i'm going to uh, fold it again but now i'm going to guess if you can guess like me you are good to go sometimes i guess was it the same that has in the same procedure i mean the gap that this is how i'm going to be doing it see where i have like six to seven folding it's okay depending on your measurement i mean the chest of your fabric of, of your native
okay now this is uh the folding i have done with the folding make sure that uh, the folding is, is last like i have like one two three four five six seven foldings so this is uh, what i'm going to use so it, it depends on your on your chest of the person that you are sewing for sometimes you feel like six or or five folding it depends on the person that you're sewing for now i'm going to fold this place i'm going to fold this place Make sure that the folding is last. Folding the place, I'm, I'm also going to use hemming gum to fold it like this. I want you guys to pay attention here. You guys need to pay attention very clear here. Take your time and fold it with your hemming gum. Then after I'm going to remove the, the other ones. I'm using hot iron to remove it. Every you guys see what I'm doing. Now see. Now I'm going to fold it again like, like this. Then press it by iron. Make sure you use a, like hot iron. Try to control your iron so that you will not burn your fabric. Then turn at the back. I hope you guys have seen um, the back very well. Then I'm going to fold that foot again. Just watch carefully here. I'm going to do uh, the back. Okay, now this foot, I'm going to fold it again. Remember, I fold it from the front to the back. Now that foot, I'm going to fold it like this again. Something like this. You can see. Just pay attention. I'm going to place this uh, fold it again like this. You can use water to uh to fold it if your fabric is disturbing, it's stubborn. You can use water to fold it it will last. They use a cooler to cool it. I always have seen what I'm doing. If you have any question, you are free to ask on the comment section like I said before. This is very very simple. I can see the folding. I will fold it now. Very simple. Why I fold it place like this? Because I'm I'm going to sew it from the inside. I, I don't want the thread to show outside. That's why I fold it like this. Understand? I'm going to stitch from the inside, not from that side. The thread will not show will not show outside the, the design understand so this is an invisible thread uh, printing design for your outfit so yeah and here is the front now with my scissors i'm going to cut it like this like horizontal not straight see how i place my hand i did not cut it straight it's slanting you can see i will see what i'm doing how i cut it then i'm going to shape here a little So guys, I want you guys to pay attention so that you will not miss any part of this tutorial. And then after after this uh, cutting, I'm going to fold it from the back. For for them, make sure that everything is okay. Put the printing is last. Then I'm going to fold it from the back. Like I can see the folding. Make sure that everything is okay. Everything is last. Then I'm going to fold the damp part of it like this with my hot iron. After folding this time around, I'm not going to put it in gum. Because I'm going to sew it from the inside. The thread will not show outside. So use your cooler and cool it very well that it will last very well. You can use water to press it if the fabric is stubborn to the last. Spread water on top, then press with the iron, then cool it. So that it will last very well. Make sure you press it very well both the front and the back and make sure that they are all last both the printing just take your time don't rush you can see my design is now almost ready you can see the folding now next i'm going to do i'm going to uh, attach it to my pattern my front pattern of my native 
Now I'm going to put my front pattern in the center line. You can see the line on the front pattern, a center line. Because I'm, I'm going to put the design one side of my pattern. You can put it on the right side or your left side, based on your choice. Let's see how I place it at the right side of my pattern. And I'm going to use a pin to hold it so that I can shape the next side. You can see the, the design is last. I put it at the right side of my front pattern. Now I'm going to use pin to hold it first. Just pay attention. Use the pin to hold it. Then I'm going to turn the back after that. After holding the desire with pin. I can shape the shoulder and the neck. The shoulder here and also the neck. So the, the both uh, design and the pattern will be equal. I hope you guys have seen what I'm doing. And this is what I'm going to have. You can see? I've costing the shape. Okay, next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to stitch it with my machine, the design. Just watch very, very carefully. Now I'm going to um, remove all the spin. Remove the pin first. So while doing that, make sure that the design will not shift. Just carefully remove the pin, those pin. Make sure that the design will not shift. Then put it like this, turn it like this. Then see from the inside that uh, folding line is where, is where I'm going to stitch it. The folding line. Remember, uh, the folding is not straight, it's slant. Okay, this is what I'm going to have after that. You can see the thread is not showing outside. I stitch it inside. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to sew, uh, stick the side of the design. So you can see the thread is not showing outside. I stitch it from I stitch it from this side. That's why it is not showing outside. You can see. Now, next I'm going to do now is to stitch the side of the pattern. I'm going to stitch here. Just carefully, don't rush. Make sure that uh, you, you, you press it very well. And the design is not shifting. And, the, and also, make sure that, you, that, that your head is straight while stitching it. Okay, now after the next place I'm going to stick now is the shoulder side. I'm going to stick the shoulder side like this. Then also after that, this place also. Stretch. Okay, now I'm done with the design. Next I'm going to do now, I'm going to fix the bracket. So please stay with me to the end of this tutorial so that you, you don't miss any part of it because they are all important so stay with me don't get anywhere now i'm going to fix the bracket here's my design it's now ready next time now is the bracket okay now i'm going to measure like uh, seven and a half inches okay for the opening bracket opening then with my scissors i'm going to cut it from the center to that seven and a half inch then cut it like this slanting both sides Okay, now I'm using stiff neck for the bracket. Here is the gum. I'm using stiff neck for the bracket. And the width is one and quarter, not up to one and a half for the width. And the length, length is 18 for the length. Now I'm going to gum it with the fabric. Please stay with me. 
So this time I'm going to do that. I hit my hand for the for food allowance by the side. Just watch very very carefully, and uh, I promise you, you understand all that I'm going to do. Now I'm going to cut it with the scissors here. You know, fold it from this place. First fold in. Cut this thing off. Now, so I, I'm going to use the gum again. Start it will last. So that I will have a network. That's why I use uh, even gum. Then after that, I'm going to fold it again. After the hemming gum, fold it again once again. Please, after watching this video, I want to know how you can see you in the comment section. Then I'm going to cut it like this. Remember, I shit my hand for sewing allowance. I did not cut it exactly the gum. Okay, remember, I left the sewing allowance here. Then from top here, I'm going to measure like 8 inch for the length. This one is for the sewing allowance. Then from that 8 inch, I'm going to shape it inside, inside the bracket. Like this. Then make sure you come it very well. You can see my bracket. I see now I'm going to fold the damn part of it like one and quarter inch is okay for the folding not off the not off to one one and a half then press it with the iron very well so that it will not disturb okay now I'm going to cut another piece for the inner fold folding another piece is like this like 2 inch width and 11 inch length you can see like just like 2 inch has 2 inch then the length should be 11 or 10 inch 10 to 11 inch is okay okay now I'm going to start to fix my bracket I'll start from the side from the right side see how I place the pieces then I'm going to stitch from up to that opening that's it now I'm going to turn the pieces to the front side of my pattern and I'm going to fold it twice like this so I fold it, then I'm going to stitch down. Now I'm going to uh, uh, pass that opening this time around, something like this. Stop here, cut this one off. Now, next thing is the bracket, I can see. After folding, next thing is the bracket. Now I'm going to start from the back. Shape the uh, twine allowance if it is too much. I'm, I'm going to start from the back. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick the twine allowance only. From that twine allowance is where I'm going to start. And also stop at that opening. I forgot to see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to turn to the front side like this. Now that's when I'm going to push it inside the, the bracket 
like this then stitch the opening now make sure that your hand is straight make sure that the bracket stitching is at the center of the of your pattern Please, after watching this video, if you have any questions, you are free to ask in the comment section. Please don't forget to like and share this video to your friends. Please subscribe if you are not done yet. Subscribe and turn on the notification button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Then I'm going to stitch it like this, like S. This is very simple pattern. And it has my work, it's now ready. Cut off all the thread, make sure that it is neat. Can see my design? Very ready and simple. Can see? This opening should be like seven seven and a half inch, it's okay for the opening. In case of you don't know. Seven and a half inch is okay for the for the folding. And next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to place it very well so that my work will be smooth and neat. Make sure that you place it very well. Please, I want to know uh, how you feel about this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, if you want, if you want me to bring more of this tutorial, please tell me on the comment section. Please like and share this to your friends. And most especially, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and turn on the share button so that you'll be notified when I will upload a new video. Here is my design, and uh, this is what I'm trying to show you guys. And I believe that this is the most simplest way to sew this uh, printing uh, design. So, when people sew their own, you see, you see thread on the printing, but my own is invisible thread. The threads are inside. And I hope you guys learned everything I did here, like I said before. Okay, this is where we are going to stop. And I would like to see you guys on my next video. Please subscribe and turn the notification button so that we can see you on my next video. Thank you for watching this video. See you guys on my next video. God bless.